Lovely to meet you both. I'm Azelle from the upcoming. Um, oh, I'm lovely to meet you. Hello. I congratulate you on a fantastic series. I've really, really enjoyed, um, as you both of them, to be fair. Um, so perhaps you're welcome. So um, perhaps you could start by telling us a little bit about the roles that you play in the Wink Saga and, and how they've kind of developed as you've got into the second season. Okay. Shall I go? Yeah. So I play a character called Terra, who is um, an earth fairy, which means she can control plants and flowers. And um, increasingly, as she develops, she's sort of leaning more into mineral magic. So she's got stuff to do with rocks and walls and the ground and stuff. So that's really exciting. Um, and she begins as she's a, a very caretaking character so she's always um looking to look after everybody and to um be everybody's friend and i think that originally comes from a place of of um insecurity and anxiety and then playing her into series two she becomes so much more um uh, in touch with herself and more empowered and it's a very beautiful journey i think Sure. <clears throat> I play Stella, who is the princess of Solaria. She's a light fairy, so her ability to manipulate uh, what people see, which is quite apt for her because appearance is sort of everything. She's uh, <laughs> got a lot of walls up um, and her journey is is sort of about reckoning with the ability to be vulnerable and realising that power does not come from sort of being uh, cruel. It actually comes from having uh, a position of authority or, or um, strength and being vulnerable with that and connecting with others. And her journey is sort of a reckoning with um, what it means to have power and what you do with that, um, which is really exciting to span over two series. Aww. And what do you think is sort of some of the appeals and, and the challenges of adapting, you know, the Italian sort of animation series into this? Well, I guess, Anything that um, has a nostalgic element for people, anything that's from some, like someone's childhood is really, really sacred and very important. Um, and so I think the weight of that felt very large for us and very important. We really wanted to honour that, but also make it different because it's never going to be that really beautiful um, thing that it, that, that it was, you know, the original animations. So it's like taking inspiration from that and um, being very grateful to the audiences for allowing us to have our own creative spin on these much loved characters. Yeah, completely agree. Mm -hmm. And what was it like? I mean, it looked like quite a lot of fun on set, to be fair. <laughs> but what was it like sort of working such an ensemble cast? How was that for you guys? It's really genuinely a joy. Yeah. Like, it, we all clicked pretty instantly. Yeah. I think we all had a glass of wine on the first night of the first series. <laughs> a and, glass, and so had singular. Singular glass, and then went home very early. But we had a real, just, I think, we all make each other laugh all the time. So it's, I think, if, if and I hope they do, the friendships on the show feel authentic, it's because they are. And yeah. we're having the absolute time of our lives. Yeah, we are. Even if it's a tough day, it's still Oh, yeah, we'll get some laughs in. so fun. Yeah. yeah. Were there any kind of standout moments on set that you can remember in particular from this season? Um, I think the one of the times I laughed the most this season was when we had um, we had a scene with somebody who uh, the actor wasn't able to be there on the set, so we were <laughs> <laughs> so we were all reacting very emotionally to um, at one point a tennis ball on a stick. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> big single tears at tennis ball. At tennis ball on the stick, and all of us trying to keep a straight face and really like sell this story yeah. was that was a great memory. For yeah, me. yeah, yeah. That was a really nice sure. day. And I think obviously there's you know we've had the Twilight um, saga, Vampire Diaries, you know Stranger Things, all these kind of programs. What do you think is the the appeal of these kind of magic kind of why are you series? Why why they're so popular? Well, I guess it's it's the extraction of um, things that feel very familiar, right? Like figuring out who you are and trying to connect with people when you're feeling alienated and just the difficulties of being young. Mm. Um, but then you take it out and you, you land it in a world that feels magical and different and other so that you can see yourself without just 
being suspended from reality, which is really nice to have escapism and we all need it. Definitely. Um, and nice to have characters who you can relate to, yeah. who also are battling massive things, but they're like monsters instead yeah. of whatever horrible thing is happening to you inside at, the, at that yeah. particular yeah. time, you know? It sort of externalizes a lot of stuff mm. whilst being truthful about their emotions. And also fantasy is a really great place to, uh, see a wide like range of people and characters and traits um, where it doesn't feel quite so aggressively politicized as it sometimes can in in this world like the the it, it just feels like a really nice suspension um, and ability to feel seen without it being I don't know yeah in a in a context that yeah. is um, so so familiar that yeah. it's that it's uh, scary yeah, yeah exactly yeah Oh, well, thank you so much for speaking to me and uh, congratulations again on a fantastic series. Thank you Lovely so much. You. Thank you. Have a nice you day. You too. Thank you. Bye. You too. Bye.